What's up guys, Lifting Nerd Pro here. Today I want to show you 5 awesome leveling items that I usually always buy when I want to re-level or create a new character. With these items leveling will become a breeze and when using these items along with a little effort I can easily go from level 1 to 50 in a day. There are of course more than 5 good leveling items available in the game but these are the top 5 for any class or any build when leveling in my opinion. So let's start with the helmet. For this item slot I personally think there are no better choice than the awesome gold rim. The reason this helmet is so good is that it provides such a substantial boost to all of your elemental resistances and it can be used right from the beginning of the game at character level 1. Having a gold rim will make it so much easier for you to maintain good resistances throughout the game thus making you much more tanky and safe when leveling. It doesn't matter too much if you are an armor or energy shield based character, this helmet will still be very good until you find an alternative later on in the game. And it's actually not uncommon for me to use this item until I reach merciless difficulty. All in all, this is a solid investment. I always buy this helmet at some point in a new league when I want to level a new character. And the cost is usually around 4-5k absorbs, but prices do of course vary as you know. Now ladies, let's talk about shoes. For leveling items, I really like using the Wanderlust wool shoes. Not only are these very fashionable, but they can also be used right from the beginning of the game. The thing that makes Wanderlust so good is the 20% increased movement speed, the mana regeneration and the cannot be frozen affix. Mana regeneration is of course nice as it will help you in those early levels to cast our spells and skills and the cannot be frozen affix is awesome if you lack cold resistance and for opening strong boxes that ordinarily would freeze you but the affix i appreciate the most is the 20 percent increased movement speed it is so good to have right from the beginning of the game and it makes your character feel so much easier and nicer to level the cost for these shoes are usually one alchemy orb or one chaos orb the next item is a dear favorite of mine the Crest of Parandus Shield. This shield only requires you to be level 8 and have 26 dexterity to equip it. When equipped, it will provide a huge boost to your survivability by not only adding 60 to 80 HP depending on the roll, but also a substantial 40% chance to block. Besides these stats, it also provides lots of life regen, 30% lightning resistance, and life leech for anyone who uses this as a physical attack based character. Just like Goldrim, I have found myself using this shield until and even through merciless difficulty. This shield is so badass and I would advise anyone who doesn't want to level with a two-handed weapon to invest into this shield if you're serious about power leveling. And the cost for this shield, I've seen everything from 2 chaos orbs to 6 chaos orbs, but when I checked yesterday the general price was about 3 or 4 chaos orbs. Which isn't bad for a shield that you'll be using over and over again when leveling up new characters. Now let's talk about jewelry. If you have the currency, buying a Paranda Signet can be a very nice ring to use while leveling. This ring provides a substantial amount of mana and mana regeneration to your character, but as a very unique affix, it also provides 3% increased experience gain from monsters. 3% may not sound like much, but it does make a difference in the end. Additionally, this ring will also give you 3% increased intelligence for each unique item you have equipped. While it may not be much in the beginning, it will make a big difference later on in the game, especially if you're playing as an intelligent based character. Some people are actually using the Parandus Signet Ring as a late game item for their builds because it provides so much intelligence. Besides the Paranda Signet Ring, I usually equip a Blackheart or a KM Sign Ring. Blackheart is probably better if you are a melee based character as it will provide some additional damage while KM Sign is better if you just want more HP. The cost of the Paranda's Ring varies greatly and I have seen them for 6-20 to chaos orbs and even more sometimes. If you don't want to pay that amount of currency for a leveling item, you can instead just buy an extra black card or chaos sign. Both black card and chaos sign usually cost one alchemy orb or one chaos orb depending on the seller. We are also going to talk about amulets. And for amulets, I actually have three recommendations for early leveling gear. The first one is the Araku Tiki. This amulet can be used 
right from the beginning of the game and it will provide you with a nice 30 to 50 extra life, 30% fire resistance and 2 to 4 life regeneration. It will also provide some less useful stats such as extra evasion rating and life regeneration when reaching low life. The 30 to 50 extra life and 30% fire resistance makes a big difference in the beginning of the game, thus making this amulet a good choice if you want to become more tanky. The next amulet is especially good if you are playing as a projectile damage based character such as a bow or ethereal knives user. It can be used as soon as you reach level 5. The name of the item is the Karui Ward and the Karui Ward will provide you with both extra strength and dexterity while also giving you extra accuracy and 30% increased projectile speed. But the most important affix in my opinion is the 10% increased movement speed it provides. I often find myself picking this amulet over the others as I simply like getting the movement speed even if playing as a spellcaster and I can't use the accuracy. The last amulet and item I will recommend is the Ignamon. For some reason this amulet gives me the picture of having a Pokemon hanging around your neck and that would actually be pretty cool, but yeah, anyway, the Ignamon is great for any attack based characters that seeks more damage and some additional survivability. This amulet both provides additional accuracy, evasion and fire resistance. And the additional 12 to 24 fire damage actually makes a notable difference in damage at those levels. This amulet requires you to be level 8 to be able to equip it. It should be noted that the 12 to 24 fire damage does not work with spells, it is instead added to your attacks. As a general guideline for the amulets, pick the Arakutiki if you want the most survivability early on, the Karui Ward for the movement speed and a decent damage increase, and the Ignomon for the highest damage increase for those levels. But again, not for spellcasters, only for attack based characters. All of these three amulets can generally be bought or traded for one alchemy orb. At least that's my experience. That is the five types of recommended leveling items I will recommend to you guys. I have used these items so many times and trust me it makes a huge difference when wanting to power level a new character. I can't give you a specific answer as to when you should stop using these items as you progress throughout the game. You simply need to make that decision yourself based on the gear that you find. If you only want to invest into one or two pieces of gear then I highly recommend Gold Rim and the Crest of Paranda Shield. Those are the most expensive, but they are well worth it. Wanderlust comes in as the third most important. As some of you may have noticed, I haven't given any recommendations to leveling weapons. The reason for that is that those are often very build specific, and that makes it very hard to make recommendations that will suit everyone. Maybe I'll make a video specifically for weapons later on. And that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any recommendations for leveling gear yourself that you use. And in the next video, we're going to talk about the best leveling skill gems or abilities to get you through the game in a nice, fast and easy pace. Thank you for watching, and bros, do you even nerd?